Good morning, Cowan Heights. Good morning, St. John's. Good morning, Newfoundland and Labrador. It's a nice overcast day out there. It's a little cool, I think. Well, cooler than yesterday. So it makes me wonder what I'm doing today. And I think I know. I'm gonna hop on my motorcycle and I'm gonna head up around or down around for Muse, Renews, and Aquafort. Those are my three destinations. Let's see if I can get all three in today. I'll show you on a map first of uh, where I'm going. It's my new routine. Gotta show you a map. For those of you not familiar, this is a map of Newfoundland. I'm not going up here. I'm not going over there. I'm not going up there either. Maybe later in a couple days. But today, this is where I'm at. I'm in St. John's right now and I'm gonna make my way down to Renews. Here, I'll zoom in for you. This is more detailed for you. So as you can see, I leave St. John's, make my way down past places like Babel's, Whitless Bay, Cape Hayden, or Cape Royal, sorry. Cape Hayden's down further. Past Fairyland, and then Renews. Because I'll probably skip Aquafort and Fermuse and do those on the way back. So that's my plan today. And I had to figure out if I really need this sun hat or if I just want to bring a ball cap. Yesterday, sun cap for sure, because I'm a redhead and I burn so easy, it's crazy. I'll figure that out as I pack. Anyway, see you on the bike. Well, as you can see, I made it to my bike. That wasn't really a concern. I was uh, pretty confident I would make it to my bike. I'm almost at Bay Bulls now. I'm not going to be giving you tours of all these little communities on the way because I've shown you those enough times as it is. But I'm uh, thinking I might have to make a little adjustment to my plans because my plan was to ride out to Aquafort and then work my way back to Vermeuse and Renews or Renews and Vermeus. I might have them mixed up because uh, I got to attend uh, my son, my uh, nephew is graduating this year from high school and uh, his family's having a little gathering this evening around 4 or 4.30. So I may not have time to stop in each of these communities today and capture drone clips and give a little tour. But we shall see when we get there because uh, it's about, it's close to an hour and a half ride each way. It's already uh, 12 o'clock right now, so I'm looking at a good 3.30 or so before I get back home, maybe even 4, so I'm going to be pushing it. So we'll see how things go. We'll see where this ride takes us. But we're definitely going to get to Wacko for it anyway. And uh, fingers crossed about the other two. I'm trying to cross my fingers with gloves on his hair. Sorry. They're crossed. <laughs> Mentally, they're crossed. Anyway, sit back, enjoy the ride. It's uh, starting to clear up a bit. The sun's coming out again. And it's not too hot today. Not like yesterday. It's only about 19 degrees right now. Yesterday, it went up to 35. So I'll take today's weather over yesterday's any day. So, see you soon.
Welcome back. That last half hour went fast for you guys. <laughs> anyway, we are entering Aquafort now. I have my geography all screwed up. I was thinking Aquafort was the furthest away, but it's actually the closest. So, let's see what this place is all about. It's not a very big community, so uh, don't expect anything uh, lengthy. Unless I decide to have a coffee here, but I'm undetermined yet. Or undecided. Because I might keep going to uh, Fermuse and Renews. <laughs> they both rhyme, I know. Down this way a little further, there's a little road that you can take that takes you down around the uh, fish point. intersection ahead. Most likely that's the dangerous intersection that I got to turn down. Let's see where this leads. I think this might be the road I'm looking for, but I could be wrong. Yeah, this is the right way. So down here must be kind of the main area of Aquafort. I was kind of curious about where. Oh, can I get by? Yep. So I was kind of curious where the majority of the population lived. dirt road. It's tempting. <laughs> it's probably private property. Most likely theirs. What are the chances the wharf is empty? Because if it is, I'll go there. That's where I had a coffee last time I was here. It was out on that wharf. Sarah and Dennis, St. John's, Newfoundland. Seagulls are around. A few dead sea urchins. <laughs> I think I am going to stop here though and get some drone clips because it's a nice scenic area. Now let's see how many neighbors I can attract or locals. <laughs> Try out my wind slayer now to see how that sounds in the uh, in the wind because it's quite windy right now and I'm curious to see how this does with uh, noise cancellation. So you're my guinea pig. Hopefully it comes out all right because I'm going to be talking quite a bit. It's your typical Newfoundland community, hey? Got a couple major wharfs. 
for the local fisheries. scenic area if I owned this place I'd have something set up over there to, uh, to sleep in something about sleeping outside that's so uh, so appealing all right I must get my drone out now One of three done. Still got two more communities to get to. For Muse and Renews. They rhyme. Yay. I know I mentioned that before. That's the joys of having memory issues. You tend to repeat yourself a little bit. Did I mention that there's two more communities left and they both rhyme? Renews and Firmuse. 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 <laughs> yeah. Did you know Renews is also a place in New Brunswick? That's where my wife is from. That's why that stands out to me, except it's spelled differently. In New Brunswick, it's spelled R-E-N-O-U-S, whereas here in Newfoundland, it's R-E-N-E-W-S, which actually kind of makes more sense. I mean, news is spelled news, N-E-W-S is not spelled N-O-U-S. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go and pack up and get on the bike again. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
Got a few clips out of it. I'm going the wrong way. I got to pay attention. That was a walking trail. I was heading to getting all twisted around in here. Well, at least now we're getting a more scenic tour of it. So I screwed up today. I forgot to charge my uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold uh, receiver, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. So now I'm stuck without music on my headphones. And I hate playing it out loud on my stereo because I just, I just, I'm just one of those people that don't like disturbing people because it drives me nuts when I'm hearing uh, bikes coming by with their music cranked so loud you can't even hear yourself breathe. Well, breathe is different, I guess. Can't hear yourself think is what I meant to say. <laughs> All right, so off to Fermuse, I believe, is the next stop. It could be rear news, we'll see when we get there. Look on the hills in the distance. Got the uh, the turbines glowing, going. All of them are in all of them are functional today. Oh, it's a six. Not sure if they're in Fermuse or rear news, we'll see. Now I got a question to ask. I'm not trying to be political or anything. But if you look at those up on the skyline there, does it really look that bad? I mean, we can drive past, come by chance anytime, and there's always these huge plumes of smoke flying up in the air, but yet that's fine. The like, guy don't understand why there's so much hate towards these turbines. There's a negative to both of these methods of providing energy. There's negatives to the oil, there's negatives to wind energy. And there's also a lot of damn positives for both as well. And there's a lot of positives and potential for those right there. And it's unfortunate that the conspiracies are what people are falling for and believing more than anything. Yeah, it's going to disrupt things. Yeah, it's going to be I don't know, I guess uh, it's going to be a little bit of a destructive to the environment getting the equipment and parts all necessary for it into the locations to set up and there's going to be problems with maintenance as well but don't you have the same problems with oil fields I mean it's it doesn't make sense how one side is attacking the other over windmills and uh, oil because we need both oil we definitely need oil we need it for now we'll leave it for a long time I mean I wouldn't be riding my motorcycle right now with it oil anyway welcome to Fermuse actually I ate at that restaurant in the loop it's good food I had a clubhouse surprise I think the scenic area is over that way. Over Caravan, Port Caravan, I think it's called. I'm not sure how far this place goes, how far Fermuse actually goes. Not very far, I don't think. I feel like looping around to get some drone clips back there because I think this is the end. I think we're just going to go on to Renews now. Yeah, I'm going to turn around and go back and get some drone clips. I'll turn around here. Good a spot as any. Ugh, I didn't look. I need a longer neck, or one that's more. Has a larger rotational angle. It's twisting your neck. <laughs> Actually, is Port Kerwan a part of? Uh
part of uh, Fermuse or is it just uh, or is it a separate community? It says welcome to Fermuse. So. Either way, you're getting a tour. And most likely this is the road that leads down there. No, well, maybe not. Next one. If there is a next one. Lots and lots of boats. Yes, I like boats. <laughs> Turn around right here. Buddy behind me was in a bit of a hurry. I think I need more practice doing U turns. <laughs> Let's go out and see if I can disturb the peace, I guess. It's probably a big sign up as soon as I go down there that I'm not allowed to enter. These are big boats. Busy spot though. Three sixty shifter. Anybody need an anchor? There's a few anchors around. Anchors away. Now I gotta find a spot to park so I can get my drone up. Suppose I could park anywhere, but uh, maybe there's a spot down Ryan's Road. What's the worst case scenario? <laughs> I think that's a dead end by the looks of it. What's up, kitty? Well, after Fermi's, I'm probably not going to have time for Renews. I'd say this will be my uh, only stop today, or my second stop. It will be my only one. I don't like just pulling anywhere because I don't want to be on somebody's property. Right here, screw it, this is good enough.
because this gets me a good view of, uh, of where I'm actually flying. All right, time to get the drone out again. Saw you paint a picture of a face A face that wasn't even close to mine I know I shouldn't be in love But it's so hard to move on You haven't changed, you stayed the same I'd still love you anyway I'd give you the world like I promised I would Even though you wouldn't do the same I'd give you the world like I promised I would Conversation more than ten times After nine I still wish you were mine Having eight in seven days Cause I've been up till six a.m. Well five songs are just for you Well, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, those last little drone clips, including the, uh, the turbines up there as well. It's a nice little area. The only thing I didn't do today was stop for a coffee, and honestly, I really want to, but I don't think I got time because I'm going to have to cut away my plans to uh, go see Renews. I'll have to do that another time. So for today I'll have to settle for Fermius and Aquafort. Which I think is pretty good. Two communities in one day. And plenty of drone clips. 
maybe I'll be able to get this video down below 30 minutes. I'm not sure. <laughs> they, send, they tend to drag out quite a bit. I know. Well, that's it for this ride. I'm just making my way back now. And in another few days, I'll probably come back this way to Renews, or maybe I'll wait for my wife and drag her with me because uh, she's from Renews, New Brunswick. And uh, a couple of years ago, we made a stop at Renews, Newfoundland, just because of the connection. So maybe we'll do that again someday soon. But in the meantime, thank you for joining me. Thank you for tagging along. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you just for your support in general because uh, knowing that people are watching and engaging in this uh, helps, keeps me motivated and inspired to keep making more videos because I was sitting home this morning in a depressed, anxious mood and uh, not knowing what to do with myself. So uh, this is what I decided. I said, all right, I'm going to go make another video. And where am I going to go? Go to Google Maps, look at all these different places that I haven't been in a while, and here we are. Anyway, blabbing on again. I know I talk too much, even though I hate talking. If we're one-on-one -on -one in person, you'd hardly hear a word out of me, especially if there's a third person around. I just shut up. I don't engage in conversation that much. I just, like a fly in the wall, I just sit back and just take it all in. But yet, here on the motorcycle, <laughs> blabbing away like, like I'm talking to my oldest friend. I don't know. It's, uh, it's different. It's weird. It's almost like there's something subconscious to tell me i got to keep talking because I can't have blank spaces in my film. Which is cool because I can have blank spaces and fill them up with music afterwards. <laughs> anyway, I'll try this a fourth time. Or is it a fifth? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, and enjoy the rest of your week, and the second day of summer, is it? Yeah, second day of summer. Peace.